Hello everyone. Today we are going to study the topic percolation processes, which is a very important topic, uh, which is covered in extraction process chapter. So percolation is nothing but the process of filtration through a porous substance. There are three types of percolation process. First is simple percolation, which is uh, used for preparation of tinctures. Second type of uh, percolation process is percolation for concentrated preparations. It is used for preparation of concentrated liquid and solid extracts. Third type is continuous hot percolation, which is also called as soxalic extraction process. It is used when active constituents of the drug are not freely soluble in the solvent. So now we will see each type of percolation process one by one. The first type of percolation is simple percolation. In this process, we use three types of apparatus: conical percolator, cylindrical percolator, and steam jacketed percolator. This figure is of conical percolator. It is made of glass or metal, that is copper, and the container is tinned inside. The container is conical in shape, that is, the lower diameter of the container is not less than half of the upper diameter. Advantage of conical percolator is that there are less chances of choking because of conical structure. Disadvantage of conical percolator is that there are chances of loss of menstruum due to evaporation. In conical percolator, the upper layer contains uh, solvent, which is called as menstruum, and the lower layer contains drug. Hence, there are chances of uh, evaporation of menstruum because of such arrangement. Second type of apparatus used in simple percolation is cylindrical percolator. It is cylindrical in shape, that is, the upper and lower diameter of the percolator are same. Example of cylindrical percolator is coffee percolator. This type of percolator is preferred when higher concentration of volatile solvent is used as a menstruum or solvent. Third type of apparatus is steam jacketed percolator. The percolator is heated by stem in this uh, percolator. This type of percolator is preferred when percolation is to be carried out at higher temperatures. Now let's come to the method of percolation process. There are three stages involved in simple percolation process. First stage is embition. In this stage, the drug is first powdered uh, in order to make uniform particles of the drug. The powdered drug is then moistened by adding suitable amount of menstruum. After adding menstruum, it is kept aside for 4 hours in a closed vessel. The percolator is packed and sufficient quantity of menstruum is added to saturate the material. After that, the outlet of the percolator is closed and remaining amount of menstruum is added so that it, it will form upper layer on the drug. The second stage of the percolation process is maceration. In this, the drug which is moistened in the first stage, imbition, is taken. Second stage in percolation process is maceration. In this process, the powdered drug is moistened with menstruum in the previous stage is taken and it is kept aside for 24 hours. During this period, the menstruum dissolves the active constituents of the drug and becomes saturated. Now, the third stage is percolation. In this stage, the solution formed in the previous stage, that is maceration, displaces downwards and it helps in extracting the active constituents, remaining active constituents present in the drug through the drug column. After complete exhaustion of the drug, the mark obtained is pressed and the liquid is collected from the mark. It is then added to the percolate. At the end, the volume is made up by adding water. Then it is filtered. This is a figure of percolator. The lower layer contains drug and the upper layer contains menstruum. Before packing the drug, it should be powdered so that it may be uniformly packed in the container. The drug needs to be moistened so that it will not cause the blockage of the percolator. Before packing of the drug, 
इट इज़ पास्ड थ्रू अ सीव टू ब्रेक एनी लम्प और मासिस अ ग्लास वूल विच इज़ मॉइस्ट विद द सॉल्वेंट इज प्लेस्ड एट द बॉटम ऑफ द पर्कुलेटर टू प्रिवेंट द ब्लॉकेज ऑफ द आउटलेट अ मॉइस्ट ड्रग इज देन एडेड अ लिटिल एट अ टाइम इन टू द पर्कुलेटर एंड प्रेस्ड लाइटली आफ्टर ईच एडिशन द ड्रग शुड बी यूनिफॉर्मली पैक्ड अप टू टू थर्ड और थ्री थर्ड ऑफ द पर्कुलेटर सो दैट देर विल बी फ्री फ्लो ऑफ द मैंस्ट्रम A piece of filter paper is placed on the packed drug. This is done to prevent disturbance of top layers of the drug when menstruum is added into the percolator. After that, a sufficient quantity of menstruum needs to be added to saturate the material. When the liquid starts coming out from the percolator, the outlet is closed. Again, a sufficient quantity of menstruum is added. so that it will form a layer above the drug the percolator is closed to prevent evaporation of the solvent from the upper side during the period of 24 hours of maceration the menstruum penetrates into the tissues of the drug and dissolves the active constituents present in the drug after 24 hours open the outlet and collect the percolate the percolation is continued till the drug is completely exhausted the rate of collection of percolate is 10 to 30 drops per minute after collecting the required quantity of percolate the mark is taken out and it is pressed the liquid extracted from the mark is mixed with the percolate then the final volume is made by adding more menstruum this preparation is then filtered so this was all about the process of percolation example uh, of percolation process is tincture of belladonna and tincture of ginger the second type of percolation process is percolation processes for concentrated preparations it is used for preparing concentrated liquid and solid extracts it is again divided into two parts reserve percolation and modified percolation the first type is named reserved percolate because in this a part of the percolate usually 3/4 is reserved and the remaining percolate means the percolate which is not reserved is subjected to evaporation or distillation in order to form a soft extract after formation of a soft extract it is dissolved in the previously reserved percolate and at the end menstruum is added to make up the volume the second type is named as modified percolation process because it is a modification of simple percolation process in simple percolation the d by p ratio that is drug to percolate ratio is 1 is to 4 which means one part of drug after treating with solvent yields four parts of percolate and in modified percolation the drug to percolate ratio is 1 is to 3 which means one part of drug after treating with solvent yields three parts of percolate so we can do this modification by incorporating short maceration stages in simple percolation process after complete exhaustion of the drug the percolate is evaporated and it is mixed with the main percolate the final volume can be made up by adding more menstruum third type of percolation is called as continuous hot percolation or soxalate extraction or soxalation this type of process is used when active constituents of the drug are not freely soluble in the solvent when drug is poorly soluble in the solvent we need to use this type of percolation in this process solubility of the drug can be increased by increasing temperature of the menstruum solvents used in this process are benzene chloroform ether etc 
example of the drugs which can be extracted by using this process is fixed oils from seeds and alkaloids from drugs can be extracted by using soxylation process this apparatus is used for continuous hot percolation process it consists of three parts one flask which is kept in the water bath it is filled with boiling solvent on the top of the flask there is soxylate extractor in which there are two tubes one side tube carries the vapors from flask to the extractor and one siphon tube which carries liquid from soxylate extractor to the flask at the top of the extractor there is a reflux condenser now let's see working of this apparatus the drug which is to be extracted is packed in a paper cylinder and it is kept in a soxylate extractor the apparatus is fitted as shown in this figure and the flask is filled with the solvent to be used with the help of the water bath the solvent is boiled after boiling the solvent it gets converted into vapors the vapors formed are carried to the condenser with the help of this side tube when the extractor gets filled with the hot liquid which drops from this condenser the siphon tube carries the hot liquid to the flask this alteration of filling and emptying the body of extractor goes on continuously this process is repeated until the drug is completely exhausted normally this process is repeated about 15 times for complete exhaustion of the drug now let's talk about limitations of continuous hot percolation process some drugs such as opium gums resins have some special physical character which would block the soxylate apparatus and hence these drugs cannot be extracted by using this type of percolation process only pure solvents or constant boiling mixtures can be used for this type of percolation process also this process is unsuitable for drugs which have thermolabile active constituents for example enzymes alkaloids anthroquinone derivatives esters etc now let's revise everything that we have studied in this video percolation is a process of preparing extracts it is divided into three types simple percolation percolation for concentrated preparations and continuous hot percolation simple percolation is used for preparing tinctures the types of apparatus used in this type is conical apparatus cylindrical and steam jacketed percolator the stages involved in simple percolation are imbibition maceration and percolation the second type is percolation for concentrated preparations it is used for concentrated solid and liquid extracts it is divided into two types reserved percolation and modified percolation the third type of percolation which is very important it is continuous hot percolation or soxylate extraction or soxylation it is used for extraction of poorly soluble drugs apparatus used in this type of percolation is called as soxylate apparatus thank you that was all about percolation if you have any query please reach out to me